Pete here and I'm back for an 8 board Funbridge tournament. I'll show you how to get in, so let's jump straight into it. When you log into the Funbridge program, all you have to do is click get started slash practice, then exclusive tournaments. If you've played it before, it'll pop up here, otherwise click view all tournaments and just type in Bridgevid and you'll manage to find it. Alright, so let's have a quick look at who's doing well. Musa at 189, 77%. Shaman, 73%. And Man You Dude, uh, 65%, rounding out the uh, top three. So well done to you guys. I'll see if I can knock you off, but uh, quick look at how everyone's actually doing. We've got Pip Pirate, trying to beat Pete, 56%. All right, we've got the benchmark in there. Who else have we got playing? Jazzles. I'm not sure if I've seen Jazzles around. I think, like, maybe I have, but uh, the name slipped me past. Must beat Pete, 49%. We got Netbuster and a sexy vampire, Cannibal Jack. We got Adrian playing this time. So uh, learning well from Pete. I like the names. It's good to see some interesting names there. Meme Bridge with thirty-seven percent. And yeah, ooh, I thought we were stopping at exactly a hundred, but we have a hundred and five people playing. Anyway, we'll see how we do. I'll jump in and give it a shot. Okay, uh, so 10 high card points, pass a spade. My partner's a passed hand. I could make a take up double if I want to compete. Um, I don't really want to compete too much. Like, I could see if they could stop in two spades or something and then try and compete. But I am tempted to make a double here so that they misplace where the queen of spades is. Hypothetically, let's say they got a nine card fit. If I don't do anything, then they're just going to bang down the ace king. If I make a takeout double, they may play me for a singleton. So I think I'm going to stretch in to do it. I want them just because I want them to miss guess it. I don't think it's that great for it. I get to find out what my partner wants me to lead, but uh, three spades is the final resting spot. Okay, uh, three spades by east. East bid one spade and three hearts. So sort of long suit trial in hearts. Um, interested in game and West is not. Let's give diamonds a go. Wow, West has that hand. All right, so what do we actually know here? So West has five high card points and a singleton diamond. Jack fourth heart. So he's got no points in hearts, but the singleton diamond, really good card. Um, so it looks like they're going to get some roughs. Low diamond to the king. I had four diamonds, Dummy had one. My partner probably has five, so maybe east is something like a five, four, three, one. I'll give my partner a singleton heart. Um, and I'll give east a singleton club. My partner five diamonds, four clubs. Okay, I think I can try and give my partner a rough here. Uh, if my partner could have a singleton heart here, so let's see if that happens. No, I can't prevent them roughing too much in uh, diamonds. So I could have played like one round, but that would do the same thing they would do. East didn't have four hearts, so my guess of their shape uh, isn't quite right. My takeout double didn't work for making them miss guess, and they have the remainder of the tricks. So that didn't work well. They made twelve. Can we do any better? Maybe I have to duck the first heart. Four percent. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that bad. Uh, Queen of Spades lead. Like they only need to rough two diamonds, so we really need to get into our clubs. I think if I didn't bid, I was probably going to... Like if my partner didn't bid, I was probably going to lead a club. So I think a club's just the winning lead here. Gets your club trick. I didn't imagine that it was going to be as bad as that, because uh, if you don't lead a club, they just have to rough two diamonds, claim. Um, some people made ten tricks. Diamond lead, they win the ace. 
and they just cashed the ace of clubs. So I presume that there was just no bidding here, but if you don't bid, I see no benefit in cashing the ace of clubs here. That's just a bizarre play that cost a trick. That is unusual. Anyway, um, obviously club lead worked would have worked well. I found out what my partner wanted to, me to lead. Uh, turns out that was not the best choice. Uh, and I score 4% for my efforts. Harsh. Okay. Uh, I got a 4 count here. Um, so, nice easy pass. 3 clubs is transfer to diamonds. And he said, sure, let's play diamonds. West showed a shortage in heart. Singleton or void heart. And he said, all right, let's play diamonds. Okay, me to lead. Don't want to lead my singleton diamond. I think we just want to collect our heart. East doesn't have good hearts here for that. Shouldn't have the ace queen. Ooh. Wow, they... They didn't bid slam with that. They have... 17 high card points, and your partner doesn't have wastage in hearts. So, East has 15 opposite your... 17, was it? Yeah, 15 opposite... So, 32, I've got 4, so my partner can have up to 4. 2 to 4 points. So, the opponents have probably missed a slam here. Um... I can hold on to my clubs, don't really need to hold on to the hearts, so let's just uh, give that away. My spades are kind of useless, I could discard them. But I'll let go of heart, I don't want them to pick the spades. Okay, that's my partner's four points, so East has king, queen of spades. They've got everything, so they've just missed a slam here for sure, yeah. Okay, sure. They played five diamonds. We scored 58%. One person had the opponents bid slam against them. And he volunteered three hearts over three diamonds. Vulnerable against not. <laughs> That's a strange punishment there. Uh, but yeah, really flat board. Strange that the robots just didn't bid that one. Anyway, I'm moving on to board number three. So here we've got 13 highs, so... Uh, I'll start with one club. <laughs> I just had a mental blank there. I'm like, did I just not bid? Or... No. Uh, my partner didn't bid. That's what's going on. All right. I've said my bid. I don't need to bid a spade here or anything like that. Uh, that's if I've got a good hand. So just pass on the opponent's stop in three diamonds. Well, I'll start with a big club. Okay, so one club pass pass a diamond. Nine to thirteen points, at least five diamonds. And then they jumped in diamonds as well, so a maximum hand. And dummy came down with twelve high card points and still didn't want to bid three no trumps. So East I don't think has six diamonds, because then they could have uh, in the pass out state they could have bid something like three diamonds. So, I don't think that's the case. Um, I could try and give my partner a club rough. Like, ace, king, and clubs, club rough. Spade to my hand. Yeah. Anyway, I had 13 points. Dummy had 12. That's 25. Let's give 12 to uh, ace. That's 37. So, my partner really doesn't have much. I think club rough's probably the best bet here. So, queen of club, like queen third club, not a particularly good holding. The jack is set up here for my partner. Alright. Um, they drew two rounds of trumps and then abandoned that to play a spade. They could have just played a club here. Alright, so he's roughed that. Because they have the rest of the tricks, right. 
so again, they just missed a game. So underbidding again, and I score forty six percent for them missing a game. One club pass, one down. Oh, playing Polish club. One no Trump playing Akko. Alright, so... Fourteen to sixteen, and they chose to open it on their thirteen count. Alright, so a few different mixtures of options there. Um, but the vast majority of people just bidding somewhat sensibly and uh, getting 46%. This has been a slow start to this. I don't think I've done anything particularly wrong. Board 2 and 3, they missed a slam and then a game. Board 1, I found the wrong lead. And they played it well. I made a double, which I guess might have helped them. But for me, I thought it helped me find the right lead and might have talked them into misguessing the spades. It did neither of those, so I got punished. Not sure it was a bad choice, though. But uh, Moving on to board number four. Ten high card points, five, three, four, one. So I'll start with one spade. And I want to check for... Uh, if we've got a five, three spade fit. If we do, I could be interested. Partner has two diamonds, a minimum hand with... Exactly two spades. Probably don't want to play game. Just taking the low road here, two spades. Um, how would have no trumps gone? So if we played in no trumps, we've got four diamonds and two hearts. And might be able to build some spade tricks. They can get three clubs and whatever in spades. I feel like playing in spades is probably a good idea. They might get some roughs here, which is a bit dangerous. But I just want to start and I want to win four diamonds. Three. So don't know a lot about the diamond suit, but I'll hide the two just so it's harder for them to read and just lead a spade up. Spade to the ten and ace. Wow. Okay. They didn't split there, so pinned the seven doubleton. Uh, they have a natural trick here. I could try leading a club towards my king. If I do, they can win the ace, give a diamond rough or something like that. But other than that, I think I should be okay. And this might set me up to squeeze the opponents, or I might have uh, been able to... Um, So let's draw a trump. And I just want to let the opponents rough if they want to. Okay, that they trumped in there. And uh, we'll rough that and take the ace king of hearts and they get the uh, last trick. If they didn't rough in there, I had a, a few different options. But uh, like. The BBO road pots sometimes just randomly don't trump in, but uh, here they were smart enough to work out that they should. Anyway, uh, two spades making nine, 81%. Uh, some people were in two no trumps making uh, 10 tricks. Some were in two spades just making two for 46%. Some in one no making eight. Sensible ish auction. How do they actually get their 10 tricks? So, diamond, they win. I lead the eight of spades, that gets covered. Club. And the opponents switch to the queen of hearts. Okay, that's where the uh, trick comes in. Anyway, uh, back up to 45%. We will move on to board number five. One no, and I have this hand. This is a great hand. 13 highs. And I do not have a diamond... Well, I don't have a shortage. I can transfer to diamonds, I think. Um, if I instead just bid three diamonds, this is at least six cards game forcing. I think that's probably a, a good approach. 
Uh, like I might be able to transfer and show shortage if I had one, but other than that, I, well, I don't have a singleton, so I don't have a shortage I can show. Um, do I want to play six diamonds? Probably. So I'll start with three diamonds, natural game force. And my partner, control in spades. Okay, that's good news for me. Uh, <laughs> I was just checking out what a four heart bid says. And the description here is, this is an unexpected bid. Therefore, giving no new information. So I can't qubit over that. Um, at four clubs would be a qubit. Four diamonds, this is a natural bid. So I can't say I'm interested in slam but don't have control. I guess four diamonds is probably my best bet. Four spades. They really have control of spades. So I think they have to have uh, a club control there. Um, let's just key card. Five spades. They have two key cards. And the queen of trumps. I did key card on diamonds, right? I have the queen of diamonds. All right. Uh, if that's the case, if they've got two key cards, let's give them good spades. We're either missing the ace of clubs or the ace or king of diamonds. If my partner has something like ace, queen of clubs, king of spades, um, ace of diamonds, I may want to be playing six no trumps. If my partner has only one club stopper, I probably don't want to be playing six no trumps. Um, but it's match points. My partner may have just the king of clubs, ace, king of diamonds, in which case six no trumps is where I want to be. My partner may have the ace of clubs and ace of diamonds, and it might be on a finesse. They look to have a lot of diamonds because they're showing that, so I think the diamonds should run unless they've got that. So let's try and uh, play no trumps. Okay, uh, my partner's just got a beautiful hand. We're off the uh, ace of clubs. Um, I could try and sneak one club through. If they don't take the ace straight away, then I have some options. So let's start with that. If they do take it, um, then I can just claim. Six no trumps making, and I think this one should be a good score there. I do like my partner uh, showing the uh, Queen of Trumps there. They had four card support when I said I had at least six, so that was good. 14-40, uh, at match price, you always want to consider it. Uh, I do find it funny that four hearts, this is an unexpected bid and gives no new information. Anyway, 93% uh, there. Some people just settling in three no trumps, not really evaluating the power of that hand. Some people going for six diamonds. Decent uh, choice if you transferred. Here, I wanted to also right side clubs, but at match points, I think it's worthwhile to actually give it a shot. Anyway, uh, it's about time to give my puzzle of the week. I didn't give it one last week, sorry for that, but uh, um, let's get into it. So, what we have is, imagine that there's four different cards, and by cards, I just mean things with uh, something written on one side, and then if you turn it around, it's got something else. So we've got four cards. We've got E, T, 8, and 5. And each of these cards has one letter on one side, and when flipped over, has a number on one side. So the E and T will have a number on the other side, and the 8 and 5 have a letter on the side that's not visible. So um, we've got four cards, and they either have a, they have a letter on one side and a number on one side. We have a theory that in this set, if a vowel is showing on one side, uh, then an even number must be showing on the other. Okay, so the question is, what is the minimum number of these cards that you have to turn over to either prove, to always prove or disprove uh, this theory? And also, which of these cards should you actually turn over? So, supposedly 90% of people get this one wrong. So. Give it a shot. So uh, we've got four cards. Uh, we can see E, T, 8, and 5. And all of them have a letter on one side and a number on the other. We can't, we, we're only looking at one side of these. But uh, the theory is if you flip over, um, like if you flip them over and you want to check this theory, if there is a vowel on one side, what uh, there is, I can't even talk. So what we want you to check 
is in this set, if a val is showing on one side, an even number must be showing on the other. So what is the minimum number of cards we have to turn over? Is it one, two, three, or four? Uh, to always prove or disprove this theory. And uh, which of the cards do we want to turn over? So we could always prove it for this set if we turned all, all four of them over, but is there a way to actually do that with less? So try and work that one out and let me know in the answers. Let's move on to board number six. Okay, uh, 14 count with a five card suit. I'll just bump that one into uh, one no trump. Two diamonds, double. Wow, I've got diamond. Uh, five spades, four hearts. Okay, I think I've got a pretty good hand here. So a bit four spades. Um, oh, it was a minimum, so I did that. But yeah, my partner had a singleton diamond. The uh, lead directing double over my uh, two diamonds, no major. Having just ace empty fifth was quite powerful. All right. Uh, so in this, we have no club losers. We have three heart losers. We have a uh, spade loser, no diamonds. The diamonds don't look like they're going to break very well. Um, I could try trumping some hearts. I could cash some clubs and then sort of try and cross rough this, but sort of worried that I'll get over roughed there a bit. I can't go ace of diamonds, rough a diamond, because diamonds might be 6 1. Hearts could break 3 3. I could take a spade finesse. I'm always going to win lose at least one heart, so I'm thinking of just winning the Queen of Clubs and ducking a heart. West would have led their singleton heart if they had one. Uh, East, like West, uh, East won't have a singleton heart and short diamonds. So I'm thinking just win the Queen and just give up a heart straight away. The jack. So are clubs breaking really poorly? Like my right hand opponent could have six clubs. I could play like spade to the ace spade, or I could just let them potentially have that rough. Okay, so they do have it. So clubs are six. Wow. They didn't play the king of diamonds? That, that one's strange. Um, so I can discard a heart. Um, so if I can rough one heart, I'm okay. So I could play like heart to the ace. Hmm. Spade to the king, spade to the ace, heart to the ace, ace of diamonds. Yeah, let's go for that one. All right, so they had two spades. Two spades, two clubs, something like five or six diamonds. So we'll play a heart up. I'm always making this contract here. All right, so hearts broke. Um, hmm. So I probably could have made more tricks. I could have done that earlier. 61%, so eight people managed to make 11. On this deal, you could have made a five heart contract. So a bunch of people went off in four spades. Some went even two off. Three no made, but uh, 11 tricks was what uh, the most successful. Let's see what they did. So diamond lead. <laughs> Hi, Slits Lol. Um, yeah, just in time for the last two boards. Uh, Diamond lead, you win the ace. Spade to the ace, spade to the jack. So they took the finesse, just drew trumps, and gave up a heart. So they got spades right, they got hearts broke. Like I was thinking that 
like, do I know clubs are 6-2? I was thinking of just giving up a club. I didn't really want to take a finesse. I wanted to rough a heart. So without taking the finesse, I thought, hey, it's tough play. Like, I'm happy with my play at imps. Match points, I'm really not sure about that one. Interesting hand. <laughs> that was yours looking at it, board six. Nice. Well done. Making 11 tricks. I think that was like a really interesting hand. Um, playing at match points, what you're meant to do. And what information you've actually got. Anyway, uh, here we've got a 6-4 in the majors, 11 count. There's a good hand, so I'll start with one heart. Three diamonds, which is a fit and an invitational hand with four card support. So we've got a 10 card fit, so I'm just going to bid four hearts. Might not make it, but I got some good distribution. Partner's got some good distribution, so we've got 11 opposite seven high card points. But here I got three spade losers, so I want to try and trump those. I got a club loser and two diamonds. I can try taking a diamond finesse. Um, if I draw two rounds of trumps, I can't rough all three of my spades, so I'd need to get rid of a loser on a deep diamond, which looks like that is definitely an option. So I think I can start with drawing trumps, and let's false card them with the queen of clubs, see if it works. It does. Okay, so now I can discard something on the club. I could discard a diamond. I could draw two rounds of trumps and pitch a diamond, spade to the ace, run the jack of diamonds, or lead a jack up. I still have chances of setting up diamonds if I do that. Or alternatively, I could just discard the uh, club, which keeps my jack 10 in intact, but I have more chances of losing two diamonds. So if I pitch the diamond, my chances of setting up the diamond suit is more difficult, but I'm only missing ace queen nine, and I have a decent amount of entries. So I think that's the way I'll go, but like I might just not be able to set up the diamond suit and lose two more tricks anyway, whereas if I hold on to jack 10, I might have the option of just guessing diamonds and being all right. But Let's go ace of hearts, heart to the king. Okay, so my righty showed up with the queen of hearts, ace king of clubs. So spade and just lead a diamond up. Um... Really, should I be playing East? Like, West hasn't hopped up here. Um, does my does my right hand opponent have? Wow! Uh, so I, they didn't cover. Hmm. Interesting. Uh. I was really thinking that the Ace of Diamonds was probably going to be on side, but they haven't hopped up here, and they've seen me pitch a diamond, and the robots don't know that I've got a guess. Alright, so they don't know that I've got a guess. So if, if the robots are working on double dummy analysis, they might not know if I've got Jack Small or Singleton Jack. Maybe they can work out that I've got the same amount of tricks no matter what. But I feel like they would hop up with the ace if they had it most of the time. So let's test that theory and play low. And we have the rest of the tricks. Alright, so if they covered with the queen, then I just get to win and I can take a roughing finesse of the nine of diamonds. So that's pretty cool, um, if I guessed it. So when they don't cover, like with them not covering, I can probably work out a decent amount about it. Anyway, 79%, uh, a bunch of people were there. Some people got doubled. How have they managed to get doubled in this? Oh, they passed this opening hand first of all. 6-4 in the majors, 11 count, and they didn't want to get in on that. Some people didn't bid game either. I think 
Finding out you've got a 10 card fits fantastic. Here, six four shapes are so strong that like I frequently am really, really aggressive, almost upgrading them. So uh, here, 79%, bringing my total to 59%, and I'm in 16th place, one board to go. And here we've got 11 points. Pass, pass to me. Oh, pass, pass a diamond, sorry, to me. Don't really want to make it take up dull, I don't think. So let's just pass, see where it goes. Okay. Uh, stops in two spades. Um, and East has 12 to 14 balanced. West has five or six spades. least five cards. They, they didn't open a week two in spades, so maybe they got like, like, they shouldn't have six spades and four hearts. They could have, I guess. Um, but I don't see myself balancing here. With <laughs> four spades to the jack and nothing left to bid. Good 14 count come down in the dummy. Um, still have to work out why West didn't bid the first time. Either they got a five card suit and wanted to keep going there. Or, yeah. First of all, I know West has the Queen of Hearts. So, I'm not sure of the Ace, King, Queen of Spades, how many of them they've got, but they didn't invite, so they probably don't have, like, a 10 count. Um, they could have it, but, like, 10 points and a five, good 5-card five suit, they probably don't have that. Anyway, uh... Heart, heart, and they're getting a... No, they're not discarding straight away. Okay, so we got the Ace of Spades. Queen of Spades. Alright, so they've got five spades to the... Oh, I saw... Nine, eight, doubleton. So he's got t King, ten, fifth. Alright, so... My partner has Ace, Queen of Spades, Jack of Hearts is seven points. Club switch, not what I really wanted here. Would have liked just to have continued with hearts. I find it strange that they won the queen of hearts and then played a heart back to the king. So if they had queen third opposite ace king fourth, you'd probably just win and play a spade up. Here they haven't done that. Um, anyway, my partner's shown up with seven points. West has shown six. I've led a lowish club. I'm still missing the three and the two. Uh, if I stick in the jack, if West has five spades, they might uh, be able to win the queen and pitch it another club on a heart if they're like a 5 2 2 4. But if that's the case, they might have preferred to play in diamonds. So I don't think they got that. So let's try the jack. Okay, yeah, that one. I could come out the nine of hearts here. Um, I could come out the king of diamonds as well. I think playing the nine of hearts and just sort of killing the dummy, well, not killing it, but letting them have a discards. All right, so diamond gone. They could always get that even if I played it. Okay, so they do have two hearts. They can guess the club, so let's just pitch one. They still might miss guess clubs. Alright. Um, I can get the ace of clubs unless my partner has... Six of them? No, seven of them. My partner doesn't have seven clubs, so I got the ace of clubs as a winner. No, I, I discarded a club. My partner's got six, West is out. But that would give West a five... Yeah, like, West has another club. I could cash the ace. They've got two spades, they've at least got another club. If I come out a diamond now, what can happen? I could come out the king of diamonds now. Ooh, like, I'm not sure if I've got a way to score my my spade. 
King of Diamonds was probably the right play beforehand. Uh, does Trump get over off? No. All right. Okay, that that worked well. <laughs> I wasn't certain on that layout there. I knew I had to trump in. I was thinking I was getting over off, but down two. Lots of people only beat at one. Uh, but that brought me, scored 93%. That brought up my total to 63%. Uh, some people got to three hearts, so they made a takeout double on this hand. Don't really want to do it. I didn't have a shortage in diamonds. Still had a chance to peer out. Like, if the auction stopped low, we might have been able to get there, but they stopped in spades, which seemed like a good option for defense, so no need to compete there. Uh, obviously, the robot could have done better, um, but in the end, uh, they either set up my trump if they roughed the diamond over, or they gave me a club rough, so that worked quite well there. So, strong recovery by me, uh, after 4% where I found the wrong lead and made the uh, double. And then boards 2 and 3 are sort of nothing boards. And then after that, sort of rocked and rolled from there, did really, really well. So, um, just once again, uh, the puzzle that I gave uh, in the middle of the hand. So, uh, we've got four cards, E, T, 8, and 5. And each card has um, a letter on one side and a number on the other. And I wanted a theory that you have to work out of what's the minimum number of cards you have to turn over to see what's on the other side to either prove it or disprove this theory. And the theory being, uh, in this set, uh, if a vowel is showing on one side, an even number is must be showing on the other. So which cards do we want to turn over? How many do we want to turn over? What's the, And so forth. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, FunBridge tournament. Thanks for watching. And we'll uh, see you next time. Bye for now.